Well, I don't know if you saw the ghost really quick. Did you see that at the very beginning? It was me. <laughs> maybe we'll try to do it later. Um, we had a little glitch. <laughs> or maybe we can even try and do it now. I don't know if Parker's ready, but we'll, we'll, we'll show you later. <laughs> we are trying to be spooky for the Spooktacular Wednesday. Hi, everybody. Teacher Marisa here. How is your Wednesday going? Have you been busy? Halloween's coming up. We're still celebrating, and I have a... I don't want to say jam-packed day for you or hour. Um, I have three today, but they're going to be super duper fun. Um, we have a full house again here in the studio with us. Uh, we have teacher Michelle. Hiya. And I think you're on face Facebook. She's going to be on Facebook today. Leanne is also with us. Um, she's going to join us in a few minutes. Um, she's going to be on Facebook as well. And of course, our creative Parker is with us. Say hi, Parker. Hi. And our classroom students are here again. Say hi, class. Hello. hello. <laughs> and also, uh, Susie will be on YouTube. And I can only assume Carolyn will probably be on YouTube and Facebook as well. So we're always so happy to have you here. Don't forget to put in your tulips. So if you are a student of ours, a past graduate, members of the Flower Lovers Club, you are a tulip. So put those in. Michelle! A couple people saw you. Oh, good! <laughs> you saw. saw. Just really quick. <laughs> yeah, it was, it's a, that, was, that was my little, uh, with Parker, and I was like, hey, do you think we can do this? He's like, of course we can. So, yay! Um, okay, so let's just get started. Um, let's see here. Um, if you know anyone who's into the spooktacular um, Halloween designing, don't forget to share the video. Um, I'm sure they'll love this. Everything today I am going to be doing foam free. So the last time that you all saw me, everything was in foam. Today, everything is without foam. So to start, I'm going to give you a little hint first. This inspiration for this design was, again, walking through the aisles here at the Floral Design Institute and saw the perfect, not necessarily container, but prop that I was like, oh my gosh, I just totally watched this whole series on Netflix. And it's like the huge craze right now on Netflix, the, I guess, Halloween trend right now. So I don't know if any of you know where I'm going. So I'm gonna go grab this prop and you might know what I'm talking about. I'll be right back. <clears throat> okay, you can't really see it too much on this side. But I'm going to spin this around and is anyone, can anyone see my inspiration here? I will say if any of you have not seen this show yet and really isn't into gore, I would not recommend watching it. But this is like such the like thing right now um, that I was like, I have to do this. So I just want to see if anyone says anything before I start designing. Don't say anything, class. You can't say anything if you know. You see anyone out there? Maybe. Oh, I got one. Okay, Michelle has one. Yep. Squid games. Squid games. Yes. <laughs> so if, like I said, if none of you have seen this, you could just like Google squid games and you'll see this. But um, in this uh, series, um, the basically the the mask of what they wear looks just like this pretty much um it's a little bit different but this definitely was my inspiration um so what i did was <clears throat> i uh, attached water tubes on here so there's one two and three on the back and then i spray paid the whole entire thing black so this thing was like more of a natural color um, but when I, again, when I looked at it, it looked like that textural um, kind of like cage that they have over their face. And I was like, this is like perfect. Um, and then I was like, how can I do that symbol that's on top of the, the cage of the uh, mask, if you will? So I thought perfect Mendolino because it's nice and flexible. So I'm going to go grab that and show you how I did the circle here. 
While I'm doing this, is there any tulips out there so far? Oh my gosh, I can't keep up. I'm trying to say hi and like them and love them, but so far, Scott, Mary, Carl, Drake, Robin, John, Sue, Natalie, Jim, Cherie, Dana, Lacia from class that was just here. Oh my gosh, Lacia, hi! Yes. <laughs> Tammy, Nikki, Roxy, Carrie, Deborah, and they keep popping in. So Hi everybody, thank you for joining. Also, if this is your first time here with us, Tulips, welcome them in and let us know where you are. And Parker. Uh, I have two newbies on YouTube right now. I have Madeline and Violet. Madeline and Violet. Thank you for joining. Everyone, let them feel welcome. Okay, so Medellino, um, you can see here it's very, very flexible. So all I did was just came around and made a circle. Now, I don't know if any of you are aware or know this, but uh, Parker and I uh, collaborate a lot. <laughs> um, I ask him a lot of times, like, what do you think and how should I do this? But I was showing him the circle and he actually recommended, because I first had it as a perfect circle, and he said, why don't you try to expand them out a little bit just to kind of give it more depth? So that's what I did. I was like, oh, that is like brilliant. That's why they pay you the big bucks. So let's see. So I kind of just pulled some out here and there, right? And then all I did is I took white floral tape and then just taped it together. I might have to rip this off because it's gonna get all tangled in here. So is anyone excited about the squid games? <laughs> Or was it just that one person that figured it out? No, there were two. Just um, two? Two that popped right in. One with a squid emoji. And um, <laughs> John Wallace is like, squid games! Yay. So, yes. Okay, Wallace at, says, at least. Never heard of it, at least so. It's okay. It's okay. Okay, so I did this. And then I just trimmed here and here to get, to get the rest of those random pieces off. And I'll spin this around so you can see. Then, for those of you that have taken advanced, either here in the classroom or online, I'm gonna take black floral tape. What am I doing? What am I creating? What is this? Now we only teach this in the advanced class. Or if you have the AIFD study guide, I believe it's, is it in there? I think it's in there, yes, what I'm doing. it is. Does anyone have that answer yet? Not yet. All right. So what, I'm, what I did with this is I just brought it on here and attached it to. So this is a really good substitution if you don't have bind wire. And since bind wire doesn't come black, I just figured I'll just use this. Oh, we've got two, right? One after the other. Okay, what is this? Jim and Lacia, air taping. Air taping. That's exactly what this is, is air tape. And again, it's a great substitution if you don't have bind wire. And it's actually, a l I don't want to say it's like completely stretchy, but it has a little bit of a give to it. So that's how I attached this part along with all of the water tubes. Okay, let's get started. This one's going to be quite simple. Because really we don't want to we don't want to hide the prop, so I'm using this test tube filler filled with water, and I'm just going to go ahead and fill up the water tubes. Let's see. Oh, we've got a first timer that popped in on Facebook. Uh huh. Jordan, and she says she loved watching all of us on YouTube. We have changed her life. She never thought she could make her love of flowers into a business. Oh, wow! Well, thank you so much for joining. That is that is really great to hear. Aw. Just filling up this back one. Okay, let's see. So what are we gonna do first? I know. Look at how beautiful this calla lily is. 
And look at just how wonderfully the bend of it is just gorgeous. What I actually did with these, and this is quite funny, um, that I did the exact same thing with this, with these, I think last year or the year before, but I actually left these out overnight so they would have this, this bend be a little bit more flexible, okay? Now, to make this even more interesting, why don't we take the black floral tape and tape the stems so they blend into the prop. Why not? So let's do that. And while I'm doing this, if my mom is watching, and it's quite funny because this was, I did live the same, um, same date last year, but everybody, it's my mom's birthday. So if you could say happy birthday to my mom, that would be like the best birthday present ever. So happy birthday, mom. <laughs> okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and just start taping down the stem. Now, it doesn't have to be just a calla lily. You could do this, like gosh, what if you had orange gerberas with a black stem? Um, what else? You could do these, ooh, with anthurium. That would look really neat. So um, you just don't have to use just calla lilies. And if you just wanted just to put a unique little twist on your the stems of the of your blooms this would be a really great way so just stretching my tape and just taping all the way down all right let's see here <laughs> so what do you think parker do you think we can get that shot in at some point or are we just yeah do you want to do it at the end yeah we'll do it at the end but at least someone saw. Did you get to see it, Leanne? Or, okay, good. <laughs> it was just a little, a little, just a little, a little teaser. Okay. So look at all of these. How fabulous is that? I just love this. Very sleek. Okay. Let's put all of this aside. Okay. So I am, let's think here for a minute. Let's place, let's see how these are going to go. Let's see, there's two longer ones. Ooh, ooh, you didn't see that. This came apart. Did you mention if that the black base circle was made or if you... No, it? I didn't make it. Leanne, was it, it came this way, correct? It, yes, and I think, if I remember correctly, it was at Target. Oh, a little Target oh. find. <laughs> I'm actually not going to cut these because I want them to still bend and they'll let the calla lilies last forever anyway so so i'm going to go ahead and weave these right in and place this one calla lily back here and see how it just follows the shape of the prop i'm going to just prop it up right here for a second oh we could just leave that guy then the next one let's see maybe we can actually come around to the front and let's see. All right, let's cut this one just a little bit shorter. Your mom's getting lots of birthday loves. Oh, good. <laughs> All right. So look at how beautiful this is. With how gory the skid, the skid, the squid games is, I just really wanted to play with contrast with this and really beautify it because like I said, it's very scary, but with this beautiful pink color and just the gracefulness of the lines, it's actually going to soften it and just, you know, it'll make the squid games pretty. So again, making some air tape and what I'm going to do is just tie these two calla lilies together up top so they don't come undone. So also by taping the black calla lilies together, again, it blends right into the prop and they almost kind of look like they're floating kind of, right? Do we have any questions out there? Ask, ask your questions. They're just enthralled at the moment. So oh, good. Okay, let's see. Let's see where this next one's gonna go. Let's see. Hmm, 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 hmm. 
why don't we just keep maintaining that circle and just going right there. Ooh, I don't know if it'll fit in there. Leanne has a question. Elaine brought up a little bit of a desire for clarification on air taping because she says the book says there's no wire substructure. That's exactly correct. So air taping is when, <clears throat> excuse me, is when you take floral tape and it just twists on itself. So it's just like taping a wire, but there's just no wire inside. That's what air taping is. Thanks for asking. All right, let's see, is it, oh gosh. And see how it just emphasizes the symbol on the prop? Okay, next, this is like what's totally gonna make it and really was, again, the inspiration, but remember those Pink Floyds that we've been playing with over and over? Well, I have been hoping that it was gonna last this long, one, just one, um, and, it, and three of them lasted, so, Let's grab the, probably this one. Because the suits that they wear in the Squid Games is like this kind of bubblegum, hot pink-ish, right? So their whole suit is this color and then they have this like black mask on top and then um, a hood that goes over. So this is going to just go right there just to enhance this side very 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 simple again I don't want to take away from this prop here what else I don't even know if I can put anything anything else in here it's so clean let's take a peek at it let's turn this around I think I can't I can't add anything else I just think if I add anything else it's going to it's gonna ruin it. I do have one thing that I bought just to kick, just in case to play with. Let's just try, and you, the viewers, and the class, we can take a vote. Okay, let's see here. So I purchased some foxtail fern. Um, I absolutely love this material. They tend to have just, just really cool lines that go with them, so. Let's just see, again, personally, I don't know, I think it's going to take away from the whole feel, but we can just see. If I hold this up against, what do you think? Class, what do you think? Do you love it? Does it kind of take away? Personally, again, I'm like, oh, I would like to leave the simplicity. Michelle, Parker. What about the one in the back? The one in the back, right? Or are they already have something in it? I could. I it without it. I think the line contradicts the movement you have. Yeah. What about our viewers? Does anyone else say anything? Everybody says no. Yes! We're <laughs> on the same page. No, I love no. it. No I box. love it. Good, 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 good. Yes, so I only have, what, four flowers in here, and I'm not taking away from the prop and the whole point of the Squid Games here, and it's just, I don't know about you, but this is, again, my style. I absolutely love it. And that one big Pink Floyd rose here to really emphasize um, the focal area is just fabulous. So I hope you enjoy my Squid Games interpretation. I'm gonna go ahead and move this one aside and start the next one. Well, I think we need to make it clear that Squid Games doesn't occur in the classroom. <laughs> <laughs> no, it sure does not. <laughs> No, I already explained how we are we are beautifying the Squid Games. Or kind of a, yes, but I couldn't I could not help it. That prop was perfect, and it's like it's just the craze right now. So I'm like, well, oh, I have to do it. I have to do it. And this is something actually I've been that this that prop has been sitting in the warehouse ready to go for like three weeks. So <laughs> okay, let's grab the next container. And for those of you that have been with us for quite some time, do you remember this container from a few months ago? I think it was around July. Do you all remember? And uh, I did something in here. Uh, we did the organic, organic mechanics with the curly willow that I just literally just kind of wadded and shoved inside. And this has actually been on display in the Floral Design Institute um, office. 
And we've, I put um, some silk phalaenopsis in it just because I, I didn't have the heart to throw this away. Um, so anyways, as I was thinking about what am I going to do, I need to do other cool things, this just inspired me because it's still kind of scary. It totally works for Halloween. And I just love the whole point of the organic mechanic. So using curly willow inside, three months ago, it dried like this. And you can still design right into it and it'll uh, stabilize your materials. Do we have people that remember this one? I think that's when I did Smilex and Phalaenopsis orchids. It was like all white. Okay, let's see. Was it the Earth Day one? Was it one of the Elms Earth Day or was it after that? No, it was, it was after that. It was like around July. Yeah. So I figure with this one, since it's quite large and tall, right? Um, trying to think about what I was gonna use for this to really maximize um, the overall scale here for materials. And when I was at the flower market, I just really wasn't, really wasn't too inspired by a lot of the flowers to really kind of fill this in. But since it's right fall right now, there's so much beautiful foliage, I thought, why don't I focus a lot more on foliage? Just a nice mixture. I don't know about you, but the eucalyptus right now is like looking fabulous. So I have um, a couple varieties of eucalyptus, but I'm gonna start with a beautiful piece of magnolia because it's fabulous right now. All right, we have to find the right piece. This one kind of bends funny. So maybe not that one. And this one's just ginormous. So maybe we'll put that one aside. Um, whoa, this one's extra large. Okay, so let's use just one of these. Let's try this one. I'm just going to take, take off some of these leaves here. All right, let's see. I'm going to take this, this, uh, this, one's, this one off because it has a little tear on it. And I think I am going to place... Not this way, because I really want to see the, the brown. I always like to showcase this part because the textures are just awesome. All right, standing on my tippy toes here. I think I need to break this down a little bit. Stepping on my tippy toes, going way back here. And look, it's so stable in there. Then, are you ready? This Agonis is just absolutely gorgeous. Um, I have been like adding it into everything this week with the classroom because I just can't help it. And they're probably like, okay, really? You don't have to put this in everything, but I can't help it. But I'm giving them a choice. I said, you don't have to, uh, but it's literally everything I'm making with them. I'm putting like a couple pieces in. So this is really going to unify with the black of the vase, right? So let's see. Oh, look at it. Let's put it in this way. No questions out there today? You guys are really quiet. They're loving it. They're just watching what you're creating. <laughs> and look how that shoots off to the side. Let me move some of this off to the side here so you all can see a bit more because that one piece of a gonus is going to start blending in with its friend over here. There we go. Let's see. Let's see what happens when we add. Ooh, this is nice. A shorter piece to the, to the other side. Let's see here. I would say that all of the pieces that I'm doing today are, I don't want to nip, again, I would probably say they're kind of like, art pieces today, if you will, but with, there are pieces with a Halloween theme, you'll see. <laughs> Especially the last one, I'm so excited. <laughs> All right, let's see here. Carl and Deborah both say they love their bonus as well. Yeah, I, I, I just, it's so, it's, I just, because it's black and it's just, it has this like beautiful flow and it's kind of feathery. So we're looking a little wingy, but we'll fix it. 
Okay, I'm gonna bring out this next material. It's fabulous. Leanne! So over on YouTube World, Susie and her team are trying to get more thumbs up. Can you give a shout out to get people to go over and do the thumbs up at the bottom of the video? Oh yeah! So you're saying we want more thumbs up? We need thumbs up on YouTube. Okay. And then can, can you all see the thumbs up when it actually happens on YouTube? Yeah, we just bumped one. Okay. So let's see if we can get a few more. So I'm not going to do anything until we get five. Ooh. We need five <laughs> thumbs up. I can maybe think maybe every time we get five, I'll insert something. And then we get five more, and then we'll oh, insert something. Well, we just picked up two, so two. we got two more. All right, on. I'm waiting, so I'll talk about this There's material. There's three. We got three. Okay, <laughs> we just need two more to get to you to design again. So as we're waiting for the remaining two, look at how awesome this is. This is eucalyptus pods, like eucalyptus on steroids. I had to buy this. Just one more. We just Yippee. need one more. Come on, all you have to do is just take your mouse up and just click the thumbs up. That's it. Um, what's really interesting about this, it has a weird smell. Um, to me, it kind of smells like yogurt. And uh, I mean, it's, it's not, it doesn't, I don't think it smells bad. It's just, it just smells different, so. But it's, it's fabulous. Okay. We got it. Okay. <laughs> I was like, I'm not going. <laughs> but you don't have to stop at the five. You can go 10, 20. All right, you know what? Let's just, the goal today is 100. So let's try to do 100 likes, okay? Let's just do it. All right, so now I'm going to take some of this, these eucalyptus, oh my goodness, these eucalyptus pods, and just going to have it drape over to the side. You know what? You go big or you go home, right? Let's see. Just snapping off that branch. These can take it. Nice and woody. Why not? Grabbing a few more stems. So Robin noticed when she popped over to YouTube to put a thumbs up there, she had dueling Marisas talking on Facebook and YouTube. Oh my goodness. So she's got you in stereo. And Nicole wants to know if you have any idea what variety of eucalyptus that is. I, you know, it's just called eucalyptus pods. Um, it's, Michelle and I were having a conversation about it and it's just, this is like the, the mama of <laughs> eucalyptus. I honestly don't know though. So Leanne's actually gonna take a little picture of this on her um, Tell Me What This Is app. And we'll see if I can find <laughs> it. And we'll yeah. see if we can find out what it is. I know, isn't it amazing? All right, let's place a little bit over on this side. So we're going very horizontal. So class, Let's see, we're on week two, just fitting up, finishing up wedding. We're gonna go jump into sympathy tomorrow, but next week we're gonna also do um, linear and we're gonna do a horizontal arrangement. Not necessarily like exactly like this, it's gonna be on a little smaller scale, <laughs> uh, but you're gonna definitely do something where the line is coming across horizontally. So you can see here, I have already three varieties, right, of foliage, a really tall vase. Look how showy and how much money this looks like already. We don't even have any flowers in here yet. Um, like I said, I was just more inspired by the abundance of beautiful foliage. So it doesn't just have to be just flowers, especially with how um, things are, you know, not as abundant lately, right? Although, I don't know, here at the flower market, things are, things are looking pretty good. How about you? Have you how, how has uh, avail avail availability been around your areas? Do you find, is it getting better? Is it the same, worse? You would like to know. So that eucalyptus, 
botanical name is Eucalyptus robusta. It, it is robusta. And it is also known commonly as brown gum or red gum. Brown gum. Robusta. Brown gum or red gum. Okay. So it is obviously, it is a type of eucalyptus. Um, okay, we need to add a bit more magnolia in there, right? It's kind of hiding. We can't see what we put in earlier. So let's just kind of beef that up a little bit. Let's see here. Yeah, this is robusting everywhere. It actually kind of is exp it's ex exploding a little bit, but it's so worth it. All right, are you ready to see the next variety of eucalyptus? Yeah. Yeah! Don't, let, let's hear it. Don't be shy. <laughs> yes! Show it, please. That's my favorite this right there. It is our favorite -est. You got more thumbs up over here on YouTube, so thank you, everyone. Look at how jumbo this, eucaly this eucalyptus is. Isn't it wonderful? Love, love, love it. This one is, I'm drawing a blank baby, spiral, spiral eucalyptus. All right, we have to find the right pieces. Okay, so let's go ahead and probably just have some coming shooting up here wow some over here now who wouldn't want this in their home i would maybe some shooting out over there let me just bring this guy down a little bit what do can you scooch it just a little bit that way? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. on it. Is that better? Yeah, that gives a little more century. So thumbs up if you like it. And then on Facebook, let's see those hearts. We need those hearts. Coming forward just a little bit. This is getting quite tall for me, so I kind of can't see. So don't be afraid out there, tulips. They said we need a ladder. <laughs> Obviously, we need to invest in more equipment for the studio. <laughs> Not all of us need a ladder. <laughs> <laughs> Teacher Michelle doesn't. Get a chair for Michelle. But does anyone <laughs> see? Does anyone see? Don't be don't be afraid. You see. Um, any spots there that I need to add any more? Because I kind of can't see. It's too short. <laughs> it's looking beautiful on the camera right now. All right. Mm -hmm. So let's stop there. Because as I was walking through the coolers at the market, I did finally find some flowers that I could add to. I found some Asiatic lilies that were just a gorgeous color. They're probably not going to read the same as they were at the market because it was dimmer light and they looked very, very, um, very, very dark burgundy. But let's take a peek at these ones. Ooh. Look at how pretty these ones are. I don't know the name or the variety. I looked for it and there was no tag. Um, just dark burgundy. So these are again Asiatic lilies. I tend to like to keep my Asiatic lilies out of the cooler. And really quick, taking off the pollen. And what's great about this color is that even if the dust can't, comes off, you can't even see it, it won't stain the leaves. But I typically like to leave my Asi Asiatic lilies out of the cooler because I don't know about you, when they go in the cooler, they get so 
like brittle, right? From getting really, really cold. And then they tangle on each other. And then you like just move one and then like a petal snaps off and then it's missing a tooth. So I find leaving them out, if you can use them up fast enough, really helps them um, just stay together and stay pretty longer. So taking off the pollen. And you know where these are going. I mean, come on. There's a spot right there in the center. Let's place, actually I like this one better. Right there, right in the front. And this also really unifies with the dark color of the vase. Oof. A little bit of the brown from the magnolia and the agonis. And let's see. Those are the only two that really opened. I really babied these when they came in. I took off all the leaves because they were very tight when they came in. Took off all the leaves, recut them, put them in warm water. Then we turned on the heater and then we got in trouble because they left their heater on overnight <laughs> just for the lilies. <laughs> Sorry, Leah. Flowers first. <laughs> Not that I obsess over things. It's okay. Those look amazing on camera. They, are, they read blood red. They're gorgeous. Ooh. Okay. You know, I was just looking on the lily app that I have, and if those were Oregon flowers, do you remember if they were theirs? Did it have a local label? Because if it is, it might be Firebolt. Okay. And they have it available right now, so I'm thinking it's possible. Okay. These could be the Firebolt variety from Oregon Flowers. So um, I'm sure even um, if you were to order those anyway, at least it's something similar to, right? All right. The let's... other one that looks similar is Ducati, which is Ooh. also from Oregon Flowers. Let's get this one. Oh, we're running out of space right there. Is that good? Yes. Great. Leanne, can our students and, and tulips order directly from Oregon Flowers, or should they ask their wholesaler? Probably check the wholesaler, um, but Oregon Flowers does have an app for the iPhone, and it shows great pictures of all their product and availability. So anybody can get the app and then be able to know more about it. Great. Okay, we are still not done. Because again, for those of you that have tuned in with us, um, or should I just say with me every Halloween, I'm gonna take a sip of my drink here. It's grape seltzer. I can say, and what are we drinking? <laughs> I've been loving the grape flavor. So that's just what it is with the little bubbles. Okay, every Halloween, we bring out the spiders. I always create something with our spiders. And remember last time, sorry, I guess I took the initiative and named them Charlotte and Weber, right? Okay, let's see here. So we have to play with these. So we'll say Charlotte has a hook, a little eyelet hook right here, and Weber doesn't. So, Let's see, we're gonna take a couple of U-glue dashes and we're gonna take Mr. Weber here. And then we're gonna, ooh, where are we gonna place this guy? I'm not gonna be able to see him very well. Let's see. Oh, hmm. Hmm. We may not be able to see Mr. Weber very well. Why don't we do this? Why don't we snip out, why don't you go with this there. All right, here we go. I just realized this one has to go on first, okay? This is what we have to do. Okay, so we're gonna grab our white floral tape and doing the air tape Again, 
got all this cotton on me. I don't know what that came from. From the... Spider no, but it's actually... Oh, yeah. Oh, I know why. Because there was... <laughs> I actually had spider webs on this earlier. And I just... I didn't like it. Can, I mean, I wouldn't, you wouldn't have had even been able to see it. Okay, so what we're going to do is go ahead and string the air tape right through that little eyelet there. And I tried, you know what I really, really wanted to do, and I couldn't find it, and I was really surprised because you could find anything on Amazon, but apparently not what I was looking for. I wanted to find a wind-up spider that you could pull down and it could like, you know, wind back up. Oh, I left mine at home. Oh my gosh, I would have been like, go run home now, get it. <laughs> <laughs> Couldn't find it. So just tied a little knot. So I only assume with what I just said, you'll kind of figure out what I'm doing. So we're gonna kind of have this one hang down here. But it would have been so cute, right, if I could wind this up and it was like going up and down. So we're just gonna go ahead and just tie. So I picked the white so it can look like he's, you know, starting to, or she, because this is Charlotte, she is wanting to start her, her web. So we'll go ahead and cut this off. Then, then Weber goes on now to hide that part. And then we're going to be done with this one. So just another U glue dash. Michelle has a question. Well, actually, we have a question from YouTube. It's a pricing question. Whoa. So the question is, how much would that cost? But rather than have you spend half an hour doing the math, can you give some feedback on how they would figure that? Yeah, excellent question. You just have to come to flower school. It's on day three. <laughs> there you go. Um, we actually do have uh, pricing segments in uh, the live library that you'll find in YouTube and in Facebook, uh, but I'll still touch on, touch on it a little bit. Um, typically, your perishables are three and a half times the price, and your hard goods, like your spiders or your containers, is times two. Um, so that gives you a little bit of a, an idea. There's also labor also um, involved in that, which is typically 20%. Okay, so hopefully you find this one kind of fun. And I think throughout the three years, we've seen three different versions of spider arrangements, actually four, because last month we did the sunflower spider. So um, I'm not gonna move on until we get five more likes on YouTube and hearts on Facebook. <laughs> So as you are liking this, I'm gonna sweep these big stems aside and we have about 15 minutes. Can I move this? Did we at least get one like? Come on, you guys have to like this one. This one's super fun. Oh, got two. Good. Okay, here we go. Two more. Oh. Hurry, you're gonna to have to tap dance in a minute. <laughs> Lots of love on YouTube. Love, love, love that base shape. Yay! Charlotte's Secret is what they Oh, it. I love it! Charlotte's Secret, that's perfect. All right, this next one I'm so excited about. I've never made it before. And this was a collaboration uh, between Parker and I as well. It's kind of Parker's idea. He's been coming up with the ideas and then I created it. It's been really fun. Okay. Walking again through the, our aisles. Let's get the hair out of the way. This reminded me of like zombie and like kind of mummy-ish. So this is kind of like a merge of zombie and mummy mixed together. Uh, so the mechanics here is just floral netting that I put inside this container. There's also a liner inside, a plastic liner, and then there's water, okay, with flower food. Okay. So excited for this one. Okay, so I'm gonna grab some more 
a gonus. So again, this is very mummy and zombie inspired. I'm so excited for this. I have it in my mind, so I'm hoping that it's gonna, it's gonna come out how I see it. And I would, I want to tell you like all the things that uh, Parker and I were conversing on how to, you know, make this come about, but I can't tell you until we get to that part. So we'll just wait till we get to that point. So bringing in some agonis just to kind of drape over and break the line of the container a little bit. So everybody thinks that your vessel looks like a tombstone. Sure, yeah. It also looks like a tombstone too. I guess it's more because of the, I don't know if it reads on camera, but it's just, it's very textural. I don't know if you can see the texture on camera very well. I'll have some come out this way. And let's see, we'll have this piece. Yeah, you may have to fill it out looking like a tombstone. Everybody's ready for that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so maybe let's bring one more little, these pieces are very long. So just kind of weaving the agonis in and out. <clears throat> then let's just use just just a little bit of this these eucalyptus pods. Why not for the texture? Oh, that's just gonna stay there. That's the one thing designing and floral netting, right? Once you place something in, it's really hard to get it out. I'm sure class can agree with that today. <laughs> we definitely played with floral netting today. We made bridal bouquets and they were fabulous. But once something went in there, it was hard to get out. Right, class? Yep. <laughs> All right. They turned out exquisite. They though. were fabulous. And people can see them. I got one picture of one of them on the Instagram stories if they want to see it. Trichelium, right? This is trichelium. Different than um, green, uh, green trick dianthus. Uh, I don't know, it always reminds me of broccoli. So I'm gonna go ahead and place this down low here. So this is where the zombie part kind of is coming in with the, <laughs> with the green. So placing some different heights a little bit. And here some to the back here. And then maybe some more over. I'm still standing on my tippy toes to do this, coming up front here. Some here. Question is how many people in a typical classroom class? How many, yes, how many? We allow up to 12. The reason why is we want to keep it intimate. If it goes any more than that, it kind of gets a little, gets a little crazy. Um, so we just like to keep it intimate and personal, uh, but we allow up to 12. So the class that's here now gets to do pumpkins this week. Yes, Yay! yes. We are doing pumpkin designing. So yeah, class, don't forget your pumpkins. Leanne went out and specially picked mine, so. And I didn't do a very good job, I must say. I may have to try it again. I'm just gonna spin this again, spin this around. Yeah, the one she picked out, it's, there's a spot on it where it's squished. It's like Leanne it's like was not a good pumpkin shopper. <laughs> just stick a flower in it. I right. put a Band-Aid on it. <laughs> oh, look at the texture of this. Okay. Oh, that looks so good on camera. Ooh. Okay, so uh, let's grab, look at how sweet these are so, I love these. So cute. Look at these Eryngium. Oh my gosh, this is one stem. I'm like, oh, trying to pull it apart and it's one stem. Look at all of that on one stem. And it's a white variety. Well, it's actually, well, whitish green. So this is actually too, too large. So really wanted to go very textural with this arrangement. All right, let's see here. Let's grab, take some of these off because we can use these separate. Oh, actually, we might be able to. So what I'm, the goal here is to make this very 
kind of low and compact. You all will see why. And I have to finish this. So it looks like we have, is it 10 minutes or is it like? Nine. Oh my gosh. Nine. You have an eternity. You can do anything in nine minutes. Oop, this is a blue one. Where did that come from? <laughs> That's a different variety. A mutant. Do we get in trouble if we go over the, the four o'clock? Like if we go to four o'clock? You already had your job review, so I guess you're safe for a little while. <laughs> the broadcasting company will get mad at us. <laughs> You know, the tech team might be where they just turn the microphone off like they do at the Oscars. <laughs> well, yeah. no, because we, we still have to finish this one, and we still have to show you what we were doing at the very we beginning. we got to find the All right. Let's see. I'll kind of spin this around again so you can see. It's probably going to look really the same on both sides here, right? Taking more off. I just want some to drape over the container just a little bit more. Okay, let's see, so let's turn this around. Both sides look pretty great to me. Okay, ch check these carnations out. It's the weirdest color, they are dyed, but when I saw these, like how these just match the container, the texture, the even like the color, it's very spooky. Um, I don't know the color of these, I just saw them, I like them, and they were perfect for what I wanted to do. Oh my gosh, I think I'm gonna run out of time. This is not fair because <laughs> this is like my favorite one. That's okay, it gives them something to check back tomorrow. I know, but let's see. So I'm grouping these together, clustering them. Oh, that one's not white enough. So let me just turn this around for you all again here. Yeah, I just absolutely love these. I might actually, you know what? Maybe I'll just do this one-sided for now and not do it all the way around so I can finish it on camera. Let's just do that. So let's go ahead and place this one right here. So notice how I'm going kind of in and out with those carnations. So they're not completely flat on top of each other to give it depth. All right, we'll just use this guy, why not? <clears throat> so you're gonna have to help me because I can't see what I'm doing from the back here, but I wanna repeat this kind of on this side. Amanda over on YouTube says those are now called Earl Grey Carnations. Oh my gosh, that's perfect. Earl Grey Carnations. Now we want a cup of tea. Now we want a cup of tea, yes. All right, let's... This is almost, and even though we're not necessarily basing, covering a base, but this is very pillowy looking. Then we're going to grab some of these fabulous... Safari sunsets, but they're so dark. These are definitely coming to my house. I can't see. Does that look good right there? I can't tell. Anybody? Yes. <laughs> yes. Okay. Here? Uh huh. Okay. Now you got it, yeah. <laughs> and one more in between those two. Like right in here? Yeah. Like a smaller one. Right here, like that. Scooch it closer to them a little bit. It's probably not, you probably won't even see it with what I'm doing, so. Oh, so okay. then never mind. Mm -hmm. Okay. Right, Vanda, orchid, the most beautiful purple, You've ever seen, right? How pretty is this? So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm not gonna use the whole stem. We're gonna actually really, really get as much out of the stem as possible 
using a water tube. I'm just gonna kind of slice the top of the tube a little bit to really get them in. All right, go ahead and insert. So we only need four more thumbs up to get the next threshold, and who knows, maybe if we get them, we'll buy you a step stool. So this is thumbs up for Marisa to get a step stool. <laughs> if I get enough <laughs> thumbs up, I get a step stool, what I always wanted for my birthday. <laughs> well, Christmas is coming up. <laughs> I actually instead would like five more minutes for the likes, but I don't know if that's allowed. So going ahead again and slicing the tubes just a little bit. This just helps it, helps them, whoops, that one doesn't have any water in it. This just helps get the stems in to just slide in easier, All right? This is gonna bring this to life like no other ladies and gentlemen. Okay, so these guys, I'm gonna group, so I have, let's see, I have five. So let's see, I'm gonna group. Three. Oh, this is just gonna make it pop. So three to one side. I didn't realize how much material this container can actually take. Look, three to one side. And then let's go over here. Oh, we'll go over here. Three to the other side. Just kind of popping up over the carnations there. Okay. This is where the fun begins. The part that I'm so excited about. Okay, so I was, this is, like I said, this was Parker's idea. And I said, how can we make this you know, look like a mummy. He's like, you know, can't you like rip those leaves and like have it like kind of go over like the eyeballs or something? I'm like, eyeballs? So I had to buy eyeballs off Amazon. Looking for an excuse to buy eyeballs. <laughs> Looking for an excuse to buy eyeballs. So uh, Leanne, that was the charge that you saw on the credit card the other day that probably said <laughs> eyeballs from Amazon. <laughs> You probably get the weirdest stuff from me. <laughs> Anything weird, she's like, oh, yeah, Maurice is buying the stuff. And I'm like, okay, yay, we're shopping. <laughs> <laughs> so what I'm going to do is, here's um, an aspidistra leaf that I'm just going to split and use my nail. And I'm actually just going to do this. So this is going to be like, you know, the part of the mummy, right, that like peeks out. But the thing is, is that we have some expired aspidistra. You may not like this, but I think this just works perfectly that actually have been like laid out and dried. So, and I really want to use these ones. So we are going to, let's see. Let's see if this works here. Oh, let's see. So we're going to go over like so. We may have to Tweak with this a little bit later, but I'll give you I'll give you the idea for now, and then you'll really see the finished product later. Oh, I don't know if this is this one's gonna work. You know what? Let's just do this. We'll just do this one, and then I'll play with it. But we have our little eyes here <laughs> that these are gonna peek out right out we have to come out right <laughs> right in the right spot there's one <laughs> so this is my zombie mummy guy peeking out of the it's almost like the gauze right of the um the mummy when they peek out so instead of googly eyes this year class we have, we have upped our game. We have upped our game with the actual eyeballs. So there's our mummy, <laughs> if you can see that. <laughs> so excited. Okay, we, I actually made it till 4 o'clock. I am going to play with this one. I don't know, Parker, can you... Maybe we can end with the spookiness. Yeah, like, We're going to end with the spookiness. Oh my gosh, that went by so fast. Usually I do four. Hopefully you got some inspiration. It is Halloween weekend this weekend. I hope you're gonna go out. Are you dressing up? Have fun. Eat some candy, not too much, but also do something you love. Bye.